pretty crappy unboxing, but WWE <laughs> Undisputed 2019. Outside of what is it? What do they call it? The Transcendent. I think it's Transcendent. Yeah. But outside of that, which is like thousands of dollars, this is the next best box you can probably pick up as far as like hit cards or whatever. This one has eight guaranteed autographs or autograph relic cards. And I bought, I've had this since June. So I got this one. I actually got two boxes. So we're going to open up this one right now. I want to do it with Jack here because no better, bigger wrestling fan than Jack right now. So we'll see what we got. I'm not going to have like they normally do with the fucking cameras here. <laughs> Jack <and Kelsey. laughs> but, um, but what an amazing step up, though, for wrestling cards. When you think about 1988 tops in the first WWE cards, um, and it was the traditional 80s gum cards, to now be sitting here getting a one-per-pack hit wrestling product. It's just yeah. light years. So I haven't seen them announce the 2020 Undisputed. I don't know if they will, but I know that Tops did just announce um, they're bringing Chrome back, right, for WWE? Yeah, and I think that's a good sign that they're adding more product next year. So I think Undisputed will be back. It's kind of the flagship product right now of Tops. The man, Becky Lynch. Oh, and these are like nice thick cards too. They're like yeah. similar to those um, – the Marvel masterpiece. So we got Ricochet. Oh. Sting. Oh, wow. It says, you have just received an authentic autograph from 2019 Tops WWE Undisputed and it's on-card auto. What's that numbered out of? It doesn't say on it. just says... Look at the top right. I think it's on the front, the top right. Is it that? Oh, yeah. I'm an idiot. 20. So it's 29 of 50. Yeah. <laughs> this box of cards sitting up here. That's what I said. So I've watched every video that we've recorded. I've watched those cards in the corner, and it kills me. <laughs> I know. You're like, how do you keep those? It's like, well, I'm going to do an unboxing someday. I have no patience. I have... Uh, there's no way There's no way I could have sat there. That's kind of what I got antsy. I was like, Ham's going to open these, and we'll just record it while we do it, and unlike the normal unboxing where I have, like, the GoPro facing down. But that's probably a pretty cool Tom Hardy card. A little... Jeff Hardy, Tom Hardy, you're Gino Toretta. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> I was like, you got a Tom Hardy card? <laughs> That's some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on a roll. Tom Hardy. <laughs> it's Venom, bro. Pinky blinders. <laughs> At this rate, it's going to be a three-hour unboxing, so let me step it up. Sting surprises me he doesn't go for more. Yeah. Those what are like 20, what's it going for? Like 25? Yeah. I I'm happy with it because Sting's like one of my favorites. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sting would be a keeper. Yeah, Ember Moon. Bobby Roode. Robert Roode. Wait till you – hold on. Congratulations. You just received an authentic autograph. It's of 99. Okay. Who do you think it is? You seem excited, so uh, let's go Braun Strowman. Close. Roman Reigns? Feel the power. Okay. <laughs> okay. We got Kofi Kingston. Okay. That's pretty cool. And that's really enough. like in this box. Right, that's what I paid for this box. I want to say it was like two hundred bucks. I know it was around two hundred bucks. Yeah, you see, and that's the tough thing when you start doing this like risk reward of the high end product is it's like you're basically paying twenty dollars a pack. So yeah. you get a great hit like Sting, but you only kind of barely, barely break even on that, yeah. um, which is what's tough. You're really paying for that big, big hit. And I've seen yeah. Undertaker one on ones and multi signed yeah. cards with the Ric Flair, Charlotte Flair. We got Liv Morgan. There you go. But I, I do like how um, I wasn't aware. This is the first Undisputed box I've opened, and I wasn't aware, like, 
how thick the cards were. I like how they're kind of like those masterpiece cards. Yeah, and even the base cards in the base set do pretty well. Um, it, that's kind of, like I said, this is like the flagship set. If you're a wrestling collector, yeah, there's the Transcendent is more expensive, but this is kind of the the set. This is the, yeah, doesn't like the Transcendent set come with like WrestleMania tickets and all that. Yeah, yeah. It, this <laughs> is similar to the way that like SPX back in the day was the set for for football cards or playoff contenders. Um, the way Bowman Chrome is with baseball. So we had another Tom Hardy. I'm just kidding, Jeff Hardy. <laughs> Rowan with this stupid cage right now. Yeah, it. whatever's in the cage. Yeah, that's going to be like a baby Yoda. There's no yeah. way to do that and make it entertaining. They've got know that far too much. The reveal is going to like be so disappointing. So <clears throat> this one isn't an on-card autograph, but it's a relic card. And... It's one of my favorite female wrestlers. I will tell you, it's not Becky Lynch. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Okay. The Alexa. Dun. That's your favorite. I was surprised when you said, oh, it's, it's signed too. Yeah. It's, it's like I said, yeah. it's not an on card auto. Mm -hmm. It's like the little sticker, but yeah, it's a signed relic card. What's that one numbered out of? I don't. There's. No, I don't see a number on it unless I'm going just blind. Oh, there is. I'm an idiot. It's number eighty-eight out of one twenty. You're getting old, bro. It's all right. I know. I need my reading glasses. <laughs> but then, then there's a, a Charlotte Flair, and then there's a undisputed finisher twenty-five out of ninety-nine. This is another female wrestler I like. Former Marine. Lacey. Nasties. The Lacey Evans card. So then if you're not familiar with like wrestling cards, the funniest thing is the female cards tend to actually outsell the male cards right now. There seems to be a larger collector base. Used to be um, a supply and demand thing. There was just less of the women's cards. Now there's the same amount. I don't know. I don't know if it's the attraction thing or what it is, but um, like that Alexa Bliss is a is a forty something dollar card. Dude, this is fun. I'm having fun. And you look, you got already. You've gotten you're what three packs in, and you've gotten yeah. and you've gotten three of your favorite wrestlers right off the bat. If you get Strowman, I wish they were scratch and sniff. If you get Strowman and Ricochet, you'd be. I know, right? Business. Got regular iconics. Billy Ray. Uh, I want to. I like going from the back. We got some Drake Maverick here. You're gonna end up missing a numbered card. I already see that. You're gonna miss like a one of one numbered card. Nikki Cross. <laughs> what does WWE stand for? Oh, a little walk with Elias. You got a lot, an Elias relic card. You just signed and a new deal. We got Andy Tomlin himself. <laughs> Carl Anderson. That's a bad card, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a horrible card. It's like, whatever. Yeah, some people try to fight Andy on YouTube, man. They don't realize Andy's like six foot four, big hoss country dude. <laughs> If that's not the dude you try to fight. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I like this because I see it in here. Like, I see the back with the names, but we got Alexander Wolf. Part of it. Oh, this one was turned over. Authentic. Another relic card for Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. The big dog. Here we go. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Number 23 of 25. It's a male. He's been around for quite a while. We talked about him in our Jerry Sandlin interview. Jerry Sandlin? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so horrible with names. <laughs> Jay Sandlin? Jay Sandlin. 
<laughs> Gary Shandling. Randy Orton. 23 or 25. Nice. This is a, it's not an autograph card, but yeah. Base card. Yeah. yeah. But the, it, again, a lot of wrestling fans, they don't collect all of WWE. They collect a specific wrestler. So a lot of those base numbered cards do extremely well. And my name, the Messiah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not big, like, if it's a Seth Rollins card, just have Seth Rollins on it. Yeah. Then, of course, fight everyone. Fight Kevin <laughs> Fight. I keep or on wanting to buy, like, the, a box of the NXT cards just for, like, the, you know, because NXT is cool. Well, another thing is, again, if you're a collector like me, NXT is where a lot of the rookie cards are now. Yeah, it's like buying minor league. Well, I like want to Bowman. say minor league cards. It's like buying Bowman. Yeah, it's, I really think that there's going to come a day if wrestling continues to raise in popularity and the collectibles within wrestling continue to raise in popularity, I think NXT cards are going to be looked at as like the rookie cards to buy because we've already seen a spike in uh, secondary market rookie cards. Even if you go back, go back and look at some of the older cards, like the mid-2000s. Go look at Becky Lynch's rookie. Go look at Cody Rhodes' WWE rookie. These are becoming $15, $20 base cards. So what do I do with that one? Okay. So this is the difference, right? This is the normal Randy Orton card. And then this is the one, th one of tw or 23 out of 25. You don't want to know what the last, the last numbered out of 25 base card Randy Orton sold for 20 bucks. So that's the great thing when you get those numbered cards is you still got your hit that pack with the Roman Reigns relic, but then you get kind of almost a second hit. I'll put this here. That was turned up right side up. There's sticker autographs, but I'll show you in a minute. Oh, he said autographs. Yeah. Three. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't tell me. I'll Is start it the right. three I'm thinking? That's okay. the only clue I'm going to give you. Okay. <laughs> it's a pretty damn good clue. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got the Elias card. Alexa Bliss. Da dun da dun <laughs> da and then Natalia, right? So, given the clue, what do you think the three autograph card is? Well, I think clearly we're going to be looking at the Riot Squad triple signature. Is that, what's that numbered out of? Because I'm looking at one on eBay that is lumbered low. It is two out of ten. That's what I thought. Brian, the only – none have sold on eBay since this product has come out. There is one listed. Do you want to know what the one that's listed is listed for? what three hundred dollars dude and that's cool because like there is no white riot squad <laughs> anymore <laughs> the riot squad is no more yeah those yeah, girls are cool card those girls are best friends backstage i would expect one day for there to be a riot squad reunion um i think at some point and i know you've watched it the ride along episode oh yeah they're they're funny together because yeah. they're so different you have like Liv Morgan, who's like that popular pretty girl from school. You've got the country girl and Sarah Logan, uh, the, the hunter and fisher. And then, and then you've got kind of like the, the badass, uh, you know, alternative punk rock biker chick, the tattoos and the shaved head with uh, Ruby Riot. So they're real cool the way that they're put together. So we got yeah, Brad, that's a big hit, man. Yeah, I'm that's happy with it. So the box is shaping up nicely with that and what you already got. So we got the, the Big E. <laughs> in case you didn't know, we got Big E. Shout out for Superman's Comics. Yeah, Big E, channel supporter. So we have a number four of 199 on card, Curtis Axel. Uh-oh. B team. The B team. <gasps> the son of IRS. The brother of Bray Wyatt. So, what's the opposite of no? Yes. Yes. A little Daniel Bryan. But it's not an autograph, but it's 41 it, of 60. It got a <gasps> from you, so. I know, right? Yeah, I knew it was going to be decent. <laughs> Who's the man that never dies? <laughs> Undertaker. That's just the regular card, of course. <laughs> and then... 
Sasha Banks. So it's happy to get boxes like this. So I have three packs left. And we started with how many packs were in the box? Ten. Ten packs. So five cards per pack, ten packs. I got to say I'm happy with it so far. I say so far. I'm freaking happy with it. Yeah, like I said, that that triple signature Riot Squad, that's like a case hit. That's a major, major hit. I mean, the Daniel Bryan card is a $10 card. So we got regular Ronda Rousey. We got Johnny Gargano. One of my favorite. Card. Johnny Wrestling. Yeah. Number 197 of 199. Maurice? I don't even know what that is. That's how out of it I am with this person. Yeah. M A R Y S E. Yep. That's uh, Ms.'s wife. Oh, no shit. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what you said, I was like, oh, yeah. So, this is kind of cool. I was looking to see if it was like, it looks to be printed. I thought it was like a sketch card, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not numbered or anything. But it's before she cut her hair. Oh, a little Bailey. Man, you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's that's uh, Rob Schembechler who does uh, a lot yeah. of art for, uh, for uh, WWE. Yeah. Bright colors are a big part of Bailey's wardrobe. Not no more, bro. But this was 2019, so this is before the heel turn. Yeah, those are the por those are the portraits inserts. Those uh those are the cards that depict, kind of give you that like old Marvel masterpiece pe feel where they they uh. Yeah, I have a sketch card from Marvel masterpiece that doesn't even have the artist's name on it. Yeah, I'm like, what the hell? Like, it was supposed to have the artist's name on it. it doesn't. And if you're gonna go to the penitentiary. <laughs> we got Jimmy Uso. By the way, Marvel DC, you guys need to get down with Rob Schumbeckler, the WWE artist. He could definitely do some variant covers. All right, two packs. And I have no intention to really air this on YouTube, but if we do, it is going to be unedited, up there, raw, all my <laughs> mistakes, all my cursing, all my post beer. Whatever, but these are some cool cards. I, I would buy this. By the way, I have another box of this to open. Cause I pre-ordered it like when they were announced, and then like right before they they got put the release got pushed back, and I was yeah. getting frustrated. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy another box. So I pre-ordered and I had two boxes, so I got another box of these to open. Yeah, because this is one of those those releases where Tops doesn't want a bunch of redemption cards in the set so they I, I think they pushed it back probably trying to procure signatures yeah. probably from a lot of the retired greats especially so here's another Schumberger Rob Schumbeckler little Shinsuke yeah I'm I am not a fan of Nakam Shinsuke Nakamura all right so I love Shinsuke Nakamura I don't love WWE Shinsuke Nakamura. It's like they don't know what to do. It's like them. Drunken Noodle Nakamura. Right. So in Japan, Japan obviously is a very buttoned up society. It's very um, – like they don't even – during if you've ever watched a wrestling show in Japan, it's bad form to like cheer. So everyone sits in silence. And then when a guy does a good wrestling move, everybody claps, and then they shut up. So it's like golf. Like you make a shot, you clap, and then you shut up. Um, so it's a very different atmosphere. And then here comes a guy with Shinsuke who he's doing like a Freddie Mercury gimmick where he's, you know, almost coming off flamboyant and homosexual. And it was just meant to kind of like shock the Japanese audience. Problem is in America, you can't shock us. Yeah. Like we've got, we've got a transsexual wrestler in AEW. So like, there's nothing that can actually shock us. So it doesn't work. So then they're trying to, find things to do with him. It's, it's too bad because he's one of the best wrestlers in the world. It's 
So this next one is number 180 of 199, and it's an on-card Eric Young autograph. EY, former uh, TNA champion. And this one is not an autograph, but it's number 18 of 15, 18 of 50, sorry. Who's Alistair Black's wife? Oh, Selena Vega. So yeah. All right, here's another one. The guy you wanted to see get put over. He was starting to get put over, then all of a sudden they stopped. Oh, that could name anybody. I know, that's a lot of people. I'm trying to think of a better way to say it. Cedric Alexander? Humberto, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. Yep. that's my guy. There's a lot of them, though. You're like, what the heck? <coughs> another part one of the Monday Messiah. Oh, yeah. Well, Burn it down. Well, he's like, I'll say stop. Inserts. Yeah. Last pack. All right. I already feel like I got my money's worth, so. Oh, yeah, you did. And some. Can we get the 101? Is there a printing plate? Can we get what, know, right? what else is left? So we do have normal Roman, regular Roman Reigns. So we got Big E. We got Kofi. Who we were missing? Well, Xavier Woods. Up, up, down, down. There you go. That's just the regular card. <gasps> I like this card. Yeah, you, you did another. <gasps> you got excited. I know. And it's number 22 of 25. It's an on-card auto. Oh, you can't beat that. NXT. All right. Mail. Velveteen Dream. Not Velveteen Dream, not Undisputed. Champa. Thank, thank Gargano, but thank Champa. Yeah, buddy. I like this card. Oh, that's the king. That's the king of NXT. Uh, yeah. it, you know, that's a guy who just got offered a promotion. <laughs> he said, the very first guy I've ever heard of who got told by Vince McMahon, "You're coming up to Raw," and he goes, "No, I'm good. Yeah. I, I don't want to go up to Raw." Um, he has decided to end his career in NXT and spend the next five to eight years there. Dude, that's an awesome card. On card it really is. His documentary is cool. Have you watched his documentary? Yes. Is it Black yes. Card or whatever it's called? Yep. So we got a little bit of... His wife was actually... Um, a lot of people don't know. His wife was actually one of the original Tough Enough contestants. She was the girl. She was Jessie, the little skinny girl that they were like, why are you on this show? You're too small. And she kept trying. So, regular card, nothing special. But, <laughs> well, I'll just do the this. <coughs> A little Cena action. And got a little regular card of old Dash Wilder. Oh, yeah. And then I'll do the blackjack. That's it, man. So, I, I, I'm happy with it. I mean, Chompa, think... Riot Squad, Lexa Bliss, although it wasn't on. Yeah. Kofi. Kofi. And then, of course, the non autos, right? You got the Randy Orton. Yep. Even like the Daniel Bryan numbered card is like a ten to fifteen dollar card. So we'll do this one another time, but we do have another box. What do you think? I think we should do it like this again, though. I kind of like to doing it like this. Yeah, it was fun. It's more fun with like someone else to, especially another wrestling fan to, to talk back and forth. Yeah. But yeah. So, yeah, let us know in the comments what you think. Wrestling fans, let me know what you think, right? Because that's probably what is going to be the biggest deal, too. Yeah. I think Jack and I, we're both wrestling fans. I always bow down to Jack because he's like wrestling nerd. <laughs> Straight up wrestling nerd. Yeah. But either way, I'm happy with these cards. Um, I want to say I paid $197 for the box. 
No. Right. And I'm and looking at that one. I'm happy I'm dead. I, I, this one, maybe, maybe we'll get lucky again. Maybe we won't. Typically, Undisputed is one of those products that eventually sells out. And to go back and get past issue, past years, issues, I'm stuck in comic books, but past years, Undisputed boxes will actually cost you more than retail. They tend to go up. So this is where I laugh at your discipline. Just keeping it sealed has increased the value of that box. But the only discipline that comes from is keep going, I'm going to do an unboxing for it. And it just goes, I'm going to do an unboxing for it. So yeah, it was like June. 2019 is when I got these and they've sat there and I'm not kidding. I, I, yeah, I have, um, a Marvel flare box, man. That's another one. If you're a fan of garbage, pro kids, Mark Pingator, who's an artist on garbage, pro kids. I still had the marvelous cards. This is the whole set. And then, um, I just ordered the same Mark Pingator site has the, uh, what's it called? Destruction. It's basically their Masters of the Universe line. They got a whole set. So anyways, yeah, let me know in the comments. What'd you guys think of this unboxing? What'd you think of these cards? I'm happy with it. Jack's happy for me. I could see it. For yes. Him. Yes. But I'm glad, I'm glad we got to see some heat come out of that box. I know. Jack kept going, when are you going to open those? Yeah. It just happened to be like, hey, we just filmed the last call, had some adult beverages. I'm like, Jack, let's just open this up right now. So here, here it is. But anyways, thanks for watching. And we'll do more unboxings in the future. Card breaks. Boxing breaks. Boxing card unbreaks. I'm out. <laughs>